Dale here, product expert at Air Compressors Direct, coming at you with another Q&A video. Today we're going to be talking about how an air compressor works, um, some basic terminology that is associated with air compressors, and also who uses air compressors. But I think the best place to start is what is compressed air? So compressed air is air kept under pressure greater than our atmospheric pressure. And by releasing this pressure, we are able to power various tools such as nailers, impact wrenches, jackhammers, and other large machinery. Um, but we're gonna jump right into it. How does an air compressor work? So an air compressor takes in the surrounding air that we breathe and actually compresses it by using one of several methods. And by using one of these methods, an air compressor forces that air into a storage tank, which increases the pressure within that tank. Once the tank has actually reached its max pressure, the unit's going to shut off and then that air is gonna stay stored until it's called into use. And then once it is called into use, that tank is gonna to start to depressurize and then the air compressor will turn back on and that cycle is going to continue to repeat. So every air compressor that does have a storage tank is going to have a pressure switch. That pressure switch has preset pressure settings from the manufacturers on them that does assist on knowing when the air compressor is going to turn on and off. So it detects that depressurization in the tank to know to turn it on. And then once it's full, it knows it's at its max pressure and it's going to turn the unit off. So knowing some basic terminology that's associated with air compressors is very important because it helps us help you decide what air compressor is going to work best for your application. So first off, very important CFM, cubic feet per minute. All compressors are going to be sized off of the requirements of the pneumatic tools and machinery that the compressor is going to be running. So knowing the CFM demands of the tools and machinery you're running off the unit is extremely important. Uh, next would be PSI, so pounds per square inch. It's just as important to know your operating pressure of your tools and machinery as well because we want to make sure that you purchase an air compressor that meets your needs in both of those areas. So who uses air compressors? Consumers. That's where we're going to start. They are, you know, for smaller air needs around the house. So your basic homeowner that needs to fill up their tires, inflate some toys, or do other small projects around the house, like for a finished nailer, something with lower CFM requirements. <clears throat> Next would be contractors. So contractor grade air compressors are built to withstand job sites. Um, they are usually portable or considered portable, which refers to anything that's smaller than hand carried, um, something that's on a wheeled cart, or even something that is actually attached to a vehicle. They are for uh, obviously various tools and various uh, projects, but mostly for roadside repair. Next would be a uh, commercial or industrial grade application. So basically that's where an air compressor is needed for um, a steady supply of compressed air day in and day out. So a lot of those air compressors are gonna have way more advanced technology on them and have a lot more superior performance as well. And an air compressor like this, you would mostly find them in something like an auto body shop um, or larger manufacturing facilities. But if you want to know more details in regards to <clears throat> air compressors, I would say go ahead and jump on aircompressorsdirect.com. Right on the right hand side, you're gonna see our how-to library Go ahead and click on that. Again, tons of awesome articles to read, but going back to basics for you, click on Air Compressors 101. That's going to jump into the history of air compressors, um, the different ones that we sell, and actually how they work in compressing the air. So jump on there, but if you need some more help, please give us a call. Or again, go on our website, shoot us an email. We're happy to help you. Thanks for stopping by and watching. See you next time.